Hello everyone, this is the Deck Sebastian speaking here. Today I will do something completely different and I'm also wearing a bag. This is not for fashion, but to show you something that will probably revolution all your routine testers. After my studies, I became a researcher for four years and then I became a pen tester to change the orientation but also to see what is the real life. But I was a little bit frustrated at the time because I didn't have the specific device at the right time. And that's why I also assembled um, a little setup in order to pick the, uh, the device once I needed it, but I need also to see uh, with time what are the common devices that I have also to bring with me uh, during assessments. And here you can see actually a little bag where I just put devices, but also some dongles, uh, RFID cards, etc. Uh, so I have actually put everything that I need actually to perform an assessment if I want. You can also see, for example, the iCopyX that I am in here. I have some Wi-Fi dongles. I have also an iron if I want, for example, to solder. If I need to solder something, uh, I have also an SDR device that you can see in here, which is the USP B205 Mini E. But also people who know me also know that I'm traveling a lot. So I wanted also to reduce the size of this thing. So the main idea was, for example, to use a Raspberry Pi or something like such, but I came with another solution. After some years, you could discover a lot of devices, including also some devices that run an Intel processor, like, for example, GPD uh, Micro PC, which is a, a six inch uh, form factor device. And it's really nice because it fits in your pocket, actually. But the con for that is that the size of the screen is not pretty convenient to, for example, to type a report or if you want, for example, to do some slides uh, or if you want to develop. And also the keyboard is not very nice also for me, especially because also I have like some fat fingers, right? So it's completely for me to, to type. Uh, so I switched to another computer. So this other computer was this one. So uh, this was, this is the GPD Pocket 2, actually, there was like the first version that, all, that was also released, but this one was pretty good because it is faster than this one. I mean, the CPU is uh, faster than, the, than this one, and also the typing was uh, nicer than the previous. You could also uh, play a little bit with the, uh, the mouse in here, but still, I needed also a screen that was a little bit bigger and the power of this computer wasn't enough, for example, to do like some very loud processing. So, for example, if you launch like a John, uh, it will be like very, very long. Uh, also, as I'm doing also radio and I'm processing a lot of samples, but still you can run, for example, a BTS station in here and also an LTE um, station. The other computer that I, I then buy because I, I wanted also to type during my travels is the Pocket Max. So in here you have like a bigger size of screen and also you have some more place to type actually. So this is pretty convenient for example if you want to type but still the processor is still a bit slow and so if you run like for example a VM or if you want for example to process some EV uh, samples it's still a little bit slow. So that's why at some points I needed also to bring for example um, some other computers with me, but for some red team assessments, it was enough, for example, for me to perform the assessments, to run some script and, you know, get out and then process, for example, some captures, some EV things, for example, if I, w I wanted also to, to break some end check, for example, in Wi-Fi, I needed another computer or I could also contact a remote computer. But you may also guess that after some years, it changed completely because still these computers were pretty nice, but still I needed like a, a computer which was very tiny but also fast and actually GPD made it. If you look at it, the size is pretty convenient. If you want to bring it, uh, you can just like put it in this uh, little bag and travel with it uh, and then, you know, perform your assessments. And what is good is also uh, the, the specification of this computer because if I show you the specification, you will not believe me. And yes, indeed, in here you have an 8 inch computer with a nice resolution in here and you have like two types of computer you can buy. Uh, there's uh, one which is much more expensive than the other one. So the, uh, the one that I've bought is uh, the Intel Core i7 one with the 6 GB uh, uh, LPDDR4 RAM and with a 1 terabyte of memory. So it is pretty nice and also it's uh, NVMe SSD, which is very fast. So for me, it's a beast. It's not, it's not a little toy like this one, but now we have like a real computer with a nice uh, form factor. 
They also provide you with some models, so you can also change, for example, the USB by default by, for example, a v, I mean, KVM and also a serial module. So you have the choice of the module you want to use, for example, which is quite cool. And also you can see a nice graphic card that you can see in here. For example, you with the, the expensive one, you have like an Intel Iris XE graphic, which is quite nice. So let's maybe see that together, right? At the first place, you can uh, actually open it as any computer like that. Uh, so it looks like very nice in here. You can actually use, for example, your fingers, or you can also type, for example, if you want, for example, to log in. So I will just like logging and, and then I will show you other things. Once you're logging, you can also, for example, you can use that computer like that. For example, you can tap as you want, but you can also rotate the screen, for example. So you can also show to other people what you want for example, to, to, to show them, but also you can use that as a tablet if you want. You can also rotate the screen like that. And so you have like the screen showing you that actually this is pretty cool right so let's maybe see what we can actually do with that so uh, you can install a vm for example in here so this is pretty convenient because uh, you can for example launch a vm even uh, with your fingers which is quite cool right so as a tablet you can actually manipulate everything like that and this is not the only thing that is really cool because yeah i know uh, you will be probably um, boring why I'm not using then a keyboard because I will need also a keyboard for, for this VM. But yeah, I can just, I wanted just to show you that as a tablet, you can actually launch some VM. So, and if you are also an artist, you can also use the pen that is provided by GPD, which is in here, and then draw something with paint, for example. So let's have some paint with paint like that and then we can draw a pretty every, everything we want for example so now uh, we can draw some some quick things like in here so you may probably see some artists that i am like that go up like that let's do eyes up a smile and also write some feel like cool Thank you very much and uh, also it will probably cost you like uh, 5,000 uh, uh, NFT for that so yeah may maybe it's not too much but yeah uh, just for the joke. As you can see this little boy runs Windows by default but you can also install every every distribution you want for example Linux system you can use for example I prefer to use for example NAC Linux or the, you know something very light but generally uh, for this kind of computer where you have like a screen which rotates etc it's kind of difficult also to use that with you know some some very uh, lightweight distribution so that's why i'm suggesting you generally to use for example ubuntu or something which could maybe just like uh, let you use this computer out of the box because you know, you don't want also to take too much time to install everything. So you want also to install all your tools for assessments and that's it. So let's, I will show you how it works with Ubuntu, for example. So from here, let's just restart this computer and go to Ubuntu. So we'll just rotate the screen so I can also see what is going on in here. So I will just like now restart that, restart. And you will see that I have also uh, made a dual boot. So let's just make it restart like that. And probably you will see that in the screen like that. So yeah, there's like <laughs> the grub system, which is in here. So for the moment, I will just let it uh, restart. Once, once I have uh, decrypted the file system, I will then be able to log in. Wait a second, like that. And you can see that, for example, the screen is not rotating properly. It's kind of complicated because sometimes it rotates, sometimes it's not, it's not rotating. So I have to fix a little bit this, but yeah, at the first place, you will have probably to, uh, to take, for example, the screen at this position to make it rotate in the, the right orientation and let it, you know, flat as it is like that and type everything you want for example to extend the, the, the system because uh, yeah it will be a little bit painful but yeah let's see i will just now log in so after logging what i did is that actually uh yeah uh, now it's not well well rotated i don't i don't know why 
wait a second i will probably just like try to go in here display wait a second so display like that go to display and then i will check the right orientation so it's landscape normally it should be portrait left and so now i can apply can I, oh, okay i cannot apply wait i will change because yeah sometimes you'll lock it a little bit if you want to apply you need also to, to change all the things so i will also do that like that and perfect so i will keep the change now and then i will be able also to mirror the screen like that still to mirror the screen uh, there's like some work to do because uh, i mean obviously for example if you want to mirror the screen as i want i want to do the program crashes so yeah there's like some work to do uh, still but yeah you can use another screen like that like i'm using for example for the project and so you can see that uh yeah i'm trying to uh, also use x rounder in order to make it work but yeah uh unfortunately i cannot show you that properly but you can see you can try to see for example what is going on the left so you can launch pretty every program you want for example so if you can uh, launch for example wi-fi for wi-fi for example so let's see and you can discover some networks so it's pretty pretty convenient uh, so not using any other dongles you have like a, a pretty decent wi-fi card but if you need another ground i mean another card you can always plug another one like this one which works also for 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz frequencies as well as uh, the one that is provided in this computer you can also launch vms if you want i've already shown you how to launch also vms in the in the windows system some other things that are interesting is that for example i can install GNU radio if i want i can also launch some docker containers so it's pretty convenient for me to, to do a lot of things and remember that uh, in here with this cpu we have actually four cores and so eight threads so you can do pretty much a lot of nice things right so you can for example do some some you know some brute force with john uh, you can also process some signal i mean it's really good i mean for the for this form factor i'm pretty amazed and now let's play with the usp b205 mini in order to pop up uh, a umts not b so first i will just plug maybe the usp like that and also maybe show you in here how it's going on so wait a second and after that we'll just like show uh, some docker container that i have in here then i will also start a docker let's now just uh, load a firmware into the usp so we'll take a little of time so after that we can also use the open bts umts then we can use our open bts umts in order to pop up our umts uh, not b wait until it's ready now it's to be ready yeah now we have like a nice command line here and now we can test with a mobile phone in order to see with if we can actually see this space station i'm making sure that i'm using 3g only like that and then i will do some scanning in here so let me just scan some network so, and as you can see we can find an open bsc i mean it is it is named open bsc but actually it is the uh, open umts uh, station and we can also see that for example looking at uh, looking at the screen like that so yeah just show you that we have been able to pop up that and we have been able to use the usp b205 mini e so like that you have like the complete test for you uh, uh, for your purpose for LTE, you can use uh, SLS run without problems because actually it is about to run that and uh, you can also perform some tests in LTE. So this is the end of this video and you may probably see other gears because, you know, there's like plenty of gadgets that I want also to show you. So this is also why I've created a playlist uh, named Gears. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, boop the like button and also subscribe to this channel in order to support it. And uh, see you later. Thank you very much. Bye.